man. Hey, bro. Do you see Facebook and Instagram went down all day yesterday? Yeah, my day was catastrophic because of it. Oh my god, what happened? I just like interacted with my life. I even sat out in nature for part of the day. It was terrible. Oh, you did that instead of paying attention to the things in your feed that you don't inherently want to pay attention to, but because the algorithms know your psychological shortcomings and take advantage of you, you pay attention to them all day anyway. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. How was your day most ruined by not having the burden of Facebook and Instagram in your life? Yeah, I found it challenging to not have rampant censorship controlling my thoughts to be in line with the narrative that the White House tells Facebook to brainwash us all with. Wait, so were you... Thinking for myself? Yes. Get out! Thought for yourself? Yeah. Then who'd you have censoring your thoughts? No one. It felt like freedom. Oh my god, that's so dangerous. You know, I thought it would be too, but... It wasn't so bad, and then it occurred to me, like, maybe every day we could just do our own thinking. You seriously want to endanger our whole species and have millions of dolphins caught in tuna nets and have sea turtles forget how to swim by us having our own thoughts? No, no, of course not. I, I was just kidding. Oh, good, because I was about to say, you were starting to sound very January 6-ish. What, are you kidding me? Facebook does our thinking for us better than we can, based on what they tell us. But like, didn't any of your own thinking start to occur to you yesterday when Facebook and Instagram went down? If I'm honest, yeah. At one point yesterday, I almost started believing in natural immunity. Really? Yeah, without Facebook and Instagram's fact checkers that they pay offering to redirect me to pharmaceutical sales pitches on the CDC's website, it started to occur to me, maybe our immune systems provide immunity. But then Facebook came back on and the fact checkers corrected my wrong thinking. I don't trust fact checkers. What's that? Oh, I said I don't trust fat chickens. Oh, but it sounded like you said you don't trust fact checkers. I trust fact checkers. All right then. Did you see with Facebook down for so long that its stock plummeted and Zuckerberg's net worth went down by $7 billion? Yeah, it scared me knowing he'd have less money to do so much good in the world with by controlling every aspect of people's lives. And did you hear that one and a half billion Facebook users had their personal data leaked out and now it's being sold by hackers? I feel bad for Facebook. It's like they've been violated by having all the personal data that they violated us to steal stolen from them. Poor guys. What do you think the solution is to this moving forward? I think Facebook and platforms like it need to be even more centralized. What? Yeah, like we should be keeping all people's personal information on one centralized server system instead of allowing them to be the sole custodian of their own information. Because that way next time everybody can have their personal data stolen. But it's kind of like everybody already had their personal data stolen by Facebook. Yeah, but it's nice to have it stolen twice. Facebook steals it from you, and then someone steals it from them. Gets you more involved in the exciting world of big tech monopolies. Sounds like a good equal outcome. Yes. So, did you hear why Facebook went down? There's a lot of different stories out there, but one theory is that Facebook had a large portion of its routing code deleted by hackers. So there was speculation for a while that not only is Facebook down, but Facebook's gone. <laughs> Yeah, thank God it's not gone forever, because for a while there I was feeling, what is it, optimistic about a bright future for humanity? Gross. Then another theory is that Facebook did a self-takedown after the Facebook whistleblower was on 60 Minutes the night before, revealing that Facebook puts profits above the good of people. And it was revealed that Facebook failed to act on knowledge that their algorithms cause hate. That's it! I wasn't filled with hate while Facebook was down. I was filled with peace. I hated it. Another theory is that the whistleblower on 60 Minutes was just a plant. A strategy on the media's part to manipulate and lie to the- Wait a minute. The media wouldn't manipulate or lie to anyone? Sure they would. Like, the lab leak theory was- Hey, the lab leak theory has been disproven. It's not possible that the virus came from a lab. Well, did you know now the media is saying that it could have come from a lab? Of course it came from a lab. I mean, it's just a very sensible probability. So my point is, 
The media could be pushing the Facebook whistleblower story to justify the FTC pressuring Facebook to suppress conservative voices even more. You know, like the whistleblowers said, Facebook is dangerous because it doesn't spy on, censor, and ban people enough. Huh. I thought those were the only services Facebook provides. Yeah, well, in this possibility scenario, this would be Facebook's way of helping the radical left silence their political opposition even more, preventing them from having any public discourse. I would love that. You would? Yeah, I think Facebook should have the right to shut down all speech that I don't agree with. What if they were to shut down speech that you agree with? Well, they're not, but if they were to. It's hard for me to imagine, because right now I agree with everything they're censoring. Therefore, my intense emotional charge of righteousness hijacks the part of my brain that would make it possible for me to imagine the likely scenario of them eventually censoring speech that is important to me. So... They would never do that. Seems like you've really thought this through. Not at all. I heard another theory about Facebook's outage. I'm all the pronouns. The outage came on the very day that Project Veritas and James O'Keefe dropped a bombshell video revealing that a Pfizer scientist had knowledge that natural immunity is- Let me stop you right there. I thought we established there's no such thing as natural immunity. Well, maybe. But then Facebook comes back up, so the video can eventually go out, and then James O'Keefe receives a warning from Facebook that his page is on the verge of being banned if there's any more violations. Violations for real journalism? Yeah, I thought we banned journalism in this country. Yeah, there's not much of it left. Well, I gotta go back home now and get on Facebook and enjoy the free service they offer while they sell my time, attention, data, and emotional reactivity, which causes engagement, which makes me the product they sell to earn them billions of dollars. <laughs> Enjoy. One more thing, my friend. I will not comply with anything that violates human freedom. I promise you that, and I am proud of that. That's why I had my team just make up a new shirt. I will not comply. And if you'd like to boldly represent and spread the message of Martin Luther King and Gandhi, you can be one of the first to get your I Will Not Comply shirts in my shop now at awakenwithjp.com. I'm proud to be on Team Freedom with you.